lost lost weight. Uh, you know, I, I I I didn't realize that I used to be fat. So when I lost weight and became unfat, I would look at fat people and be like, "You need to eat better. You you need to go. You know, you could do twenty jumping jacks a day, and that would probably cut off about fifty pounds." Like I found myself really acting like that, and I was like, "Man, okay, boys, you need to slow your roll because your fat ass was sitting on the couch with two bags of potato chips and some cookies." You know, so basically, it's kind of the same way, you know, I, I think that once you get off the plantation, you have to be cautious of becoming a little uppity in your blackness. Uppity meaning that, you know, like you're, you know, very proud to be black and free and, and sort of saying to people like, look, if you just liberate yourself from that mindset, so many great things can happen to you. And that's how I feel. I think that when I end up uh, sounding like I'm critical of other fat people, um, you know, it, it's, it's really not me trying to be critical of them and making them feel bad or dissing them or shaming them. It's really me saying, come on, open your mind. Just try it. Just try it. Just go outside and just do a walk job for half a mile. Just do something. Make yourself sweat a little bit and you're going to love it. When I lost weight, I felt so good. I feel so free. I feel so happy. You know, and so so the same thing is true you know, for black people that are still, you know, sort of trying to make their way on the plantation. The plantation, the corporate plantation, and CNN is a corporate plantation. Make no mistake about it. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the plantation is a is a place that is um, ripe with mental illness, driven by racism. You know, uh, these people, these are some sick fucks that, that run CNN. And they're, they're, they're not good people. They don't like black people. Uh, you know, Roland Martin used to be on CNN. Uh, and me and Mark and Roland used to appear on all the same shows and all this stuff back in like 2006, 2007, when we used to all do the little circuit. It's like a little circuit where you just, because I've been on CNN guy probably hundreds of times. I don't know how many times. Um, and I remember having a conversation on my porch in 2007, 2008 with Mark Lamont Hill. And we were talking and I said, um, you know, and at that time we were talking about like, I wonder how much these commentators make. I wonder, you know, if, if, if you know, how hard it is to get a deal, like who you got to talk to. And, um, and I remember um, Roland, I think had gotten his deal with CNN. He was on CNN all the time at that point, getting, getting paid. And it's good money. It's like, I mean, hundreds of dollars per appearance, maybe a thousand dollars every time you go on something crazy like that it was something nice at the time. Um, and, uh, and Mark, I think was headed toward Fox, right? Fox, the Fox news network. And I was like, Wow, Fox, like that's a pretty horrible racist place. And uh, and I remember kind of saying, you know, I don't think I want to get a deal with either one of them. I don't think I want to work for Fox or CNN. Um, I think I think black people need our own platform. I think that black people, I think that we need our own space because because I feel like if I get hired by Fox or CNN, I'm going to get fired. I'm not good. They're, they're going to find out. Even, eventually, my cover will be blown. They're, they're going to find out um, that I'm a that I'm a black man and it's going to cause me. Um, problems. And, and so rather than doing all that, let, let me just save you the trouble. You know, I, I'll just fire myself in advance. And that's probably a, a defeatist approach. Maybe that's not even the healthiest way to look at it, but I didn't really trust those people. You know, I just, I just never trusted white corporations. Um, I, I don't trust white people as a group. I, you know, I don't trust white thinking. Um, I don't, I don't trust any of that. It doesn't mean I don't like them. It just means that I'm kind of looking at you like, like, okay, how's this going to end? How's this going to go? Can I, I mean, can, am I, are you, do you really accept me? Are you really aiming for diversity? Diversity means diversity is something that's probably impossible for you to do because true diversity means you're sharing power. It means my idea can be on the table. Your idea can be on the table and both ideas will be respected equally. Um, I don't feel that that's uh, the CNN is that kind of environment. CNN is a racist organization. And so years later down the line, um, I think Mark got fired from Fox because, again, they found out he was black. His cover got blown. They found out that he supported Asada Shakur, which I, I think Asada Shakur is fine. I don't feel like I have to be scared to say that. I think Asada Shakur is a, is, is a hero. Uh, I think she's a she's uh, she's a great black woman, um, you know, and and I think it's quite feasible that all these charges against her were were, you know, I, I think a lot of this is bogus. I, I don't I trust Asada Shakur more than I trust the police. If I had, uh, you know, a choice between being at Asada Shakur's house and being in a police station, I'd rather be at Asada's house. <laughs> you know, like, I'd feel safer in Asada's house. I would not feel safe in a police station. Uh, and so, uh, you know, uh, but but they they fired him, you know, from Fox. And then Roland Martin got fired from CNN, again, for being a little too black in the sense of kind of exercising his right to freedom of speech. I think he, I think it was the LGBT thing that got him. Uh, you know, so when you piss off the white liberals, uh, you're going to go down. If you, if you, you know, you remember that you're, they let you on the bus, but they will never let you drive the bus. They will let you in the house, but they'll never let you own the house. They will let you be a part of the team, but they will let you, never let you be the team captain. They don't want you to be the coach. They don't want you, they don't even want you to be the star of the team. And so basically when you have these moments where you get caught being black, 
that's when you start seeing people get fired. So just like I had anticipated, because at the time, I know also I had gotten into a big back and forth with Bill O'Reilly. And at the time, I was a little more naive. I thought CNN uh, and the white liberals would have my back in this battle with O'Reilly. And what happened was the battle with O'Reilly, you can go look it up. It was over Michelle Obama. He made a joke about lynching Michelle Obama or something like that. And I just went in on his ass. You know, I, I just I, every time I went on, I ate him up. And at first, CNN was very supportive of that. They were like, yeah, that's right. Go get him, blah, blah, blah. But then uh, something just suddenly changed like that. I think they felt like it got too heated and over the top. Um, and and uh, and I remember Juan Williams. Uh, I I referred to Juan Williams on on Fox, who runs up behind Bill O'Reilly. I referred to him as the Happy Negro. And because they didn't know what to do with the term Negro, they were like, Oh gosh, well, how, what should we do? What should we say? So so somebody at CNN said, Oh, that's racist. So what they did was they banned me. They banned me from CNN for like a year. Like my you know my publicist would call, and the same people that would used to take our calls stopped taking our calls. You know, et cetera. So I was banned from CNN, and that kind of like. You know, those uh, Paul Mooney nigga wake up calls, uh, you know, really remind you of the importance of finding a way to be independent. And so that's what led me on that independent street. And that's why I tell you guys, you know, when white folks don't love you, when they don't let you in, when they don't give you the job you want, when they don't give you the opportunity that you think you deserve, or they won't put you on their TV network or whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, just sometimes that's a blessing. Sometimes you know, the universe and God have a way of blocking you from the things that are only going to set you up for more disappointment. You know, sometimes like I can think of times in college, I had this horrible girlfriend in college. Uh, her name was Robin. She was a mean, mean, mean woman. She, I, I couldn't stand her. I think she married a white man, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, this this girl was so such a bitch. And but for some reason, I was one of those dumb young boys that falls in love with a bitch, you know, and uh, and so that old saying that bitches get ahead, sometimes that's true for dumb young boys. And in this case, it was true. And I remember uh, that there was nothing I wanted more than for this woman to want me back. And uh, but she didn't want me back and it was blocked from me. And I was very hurt, very disappointed. But I look back on that and I, I say, oh, my God, thank God. Thank God. Thank God that this woman rejected me. Thank God that she told me to get 